The city of Bartlesville is trying to stay ahead of the freezing temperatures and rain, which could be making things a bit difficult throughout the day and into the weekend. That's right. Two Works for You reporter Ashley Holt is live there now with how residents are holding up. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Daniel Tanaya. Throughout the morning, we've had that on and off light rain. It still holds true. You can see right here, it was just heavily raining about a second ago, and now you can see it's kind of trying to lighten up right now. Now, this morning, bright and early, it was right here in front of Phillips in downtown Bartlesville, where I saw an employee salting the sidewalk after he says someone slipped and fell, and he told me he had a feeling he'd be salting sidewalks for the rest of the day. Washington County Emergency Management tells me the main streets throughout Bartlesville have been okay to drive on this morning but they're worried about bridges and other raised surfaces. We've seen many frozen solid. That's why they're advising people to stay off of the roads if possible. So far today, we've received reports of two car accidents, one of them involving pedestrians also here downtown. Now that Phillips employee told me this morning he knows today is just the beginning, but he's dedicated to staying out here out of fear of one thing. People falling. We don't want people to fall and get hurt. You know, when we get get to work and get back home safely. The Bartlesville Police Department said it made sure it was fully staffed today. Emergency management has employees on standby and PSO has contracted in extra help to make sure the weekend goes as smoothly as possible, no matter what happens for all of the updates on the potentially dangerous weather here in Bartlesville for, throughout the weekend. You can get that information on our website at KGRH.com. Now coming up in the next half hour, I talked to a Bartlesville small business owner about what his biggest fear is going into the weekend. Reporting live out of downtown Bartlesville, Ashley Holt, two works for you.